So here we are, uh, week three, my week three job up in Mount Seymour. I'm a snowshoe guide assistant, um, having a great time. Uh, I mentioned a, a fellow that I'm working with, uh, Gary. Um, he was lived in England as a, a software developer for an IT firm, and uh, now he's one of the snowshoe guides up here at Mount Seymour. So I found his story really interesting. Um, so here I am with Gary. Um, so why? You know, you're you know a nice secure position, in a software firm, uh, IT firm, and. Now you're a snowshoe guide assistant, you know, why that big change? Well, it's a big move, yeah. uh, you know, selling everything up, moving to, from England to Canada. So it's a perfect opportunity to make another big life change. Mm -hmm. um, you know, didn't really want to go back into IT. I was happy working in IT back in England. I had a good job and really enjoyed the job and working with great people. Mm -hmm. But I've always loved being outdoors. And, you know, the North Shore is, is like the, the capital of the outdoors world. Definitely. So, um, my wife suggested it. She said, well, if you love the outdoors so much, why don't you go and try for a job in the outdoors? Uh, and that was it. That was all I needed. Really? And so, you know, obviously I imagine it's a, a pay cut, you know, from your, your, uh, from your previous job. And, you know, you were willing to, to do that, I guess, for something you enjoy? Or yeah, what, what was it? it was just the most enormous pay cut. But, you know, I'm doing a job that I really enjoy. In fact, I'm doing a job that now that I've been here for a couple of months, I'm actually passionate about. Really? I really love this job, it's fantastic. Best job ever. Yeah. Um, and my philosophy has always been about work, that you spend such a long time, such a big part of your life working, you've got to be happy doing it. Yeah. You can't, you just cannot spend so much of your life being miserable. Yeah. Um, you know, and, and this has just turned out to be one of the happy, probably the happiest job I've ever had. That's awesome. And so what do you... Have you, have you spoken to any of your old co-workers or any of your oh, yeah. friends or family back home? Like, what do they yeah. think about uh, you kind of seeking, you know, going after your passion and, you know, rather than, you know? Most of the people that, that, was, that I know back in England just can't believe the change that I've made. Mm -hmm. And most of them are, are really happy for the change that I've made because they know, they, they knew as soon as I said it, that that was going to be a great job for me. Mm -hmm. um, but most of them can't imagine making that, that leap. Yeah. Um, because it is a big leap, you know. There are some people, my dad included, back in England, yeah. who really thinks I've lost it and he thinks I'm completely crazy. And so what would you say kind of made you be able to, to take that leap? Um, that so, many, so many other people are unwilling to, to do I don't think it's unwilling. I, don't, I, don't, I think there's so many people who, who would just do it if they just had that, who were just brave enough to just take that chance. Yeah. Life is about chances. Um, you know, and, and life is too short not to take those chances. The last thing, the, the way I always look at it is, I don't want to be 65 sitting there thinking, oh, I wish I'd done that. Mm -hmm. If I do it and it doesn't work out, I'm fine. You know, it didn't work. Try something different. But I just don't want to be sat there for the rest of my life regretting things that I didn't do. Because I think that's a sad waste of your life. Me too. Um, so w my generation, what I find with a lot of my generation, we're having a lot of difficulty kind of coming out of school and having difficulty deciding of what career tra choice to make and, you know, um, you know, there's so many possibilities out there. You know, what would you have any advice for, you know, recent graduates coming out of school and, and, and joining the workforce? I'd say do something like you're doing. I think what you're doing is a great idea. Yeah. Um, I think, you know, you've got, you've got a long, long time to think about careers. And if you've been to university and you've got the U degree, then have a play around. Mm. Have a play around in the job market. Do jobs that you know that you're really gonna enjoy. And if you don't enjoy them, get out of them and go and find something else. Yeah. You know, it's a lot easier to do it when you're young than it is to do it when you're older. Right. Well thanks a lot, Gary. Hey no problem. It's nice to meet you. Good luck. I'll be keeping up with uh, I'll be keeping up with you on your website. Definitely.